But having dumped the schools bill, the only edu education policy this government seems to have is a gimmick announcement on making maths compulsory until 18. A plan that experts say is unachievable in light of the teacher recruitment crisis. What discussion did the Secretary of State have with the Prime Minister before his announcement? Because surely they would have told him it was unworkable, given that the government has missed its recruitment target for maths teachers in each of the last 10 years. Yeah. So we have a, a very much a focus on, on, on making sure that our standards are very high in school and making sure that our children have the very best education so that they compete globally when they need to get into the workforce. Now, if you look at every other developed economy, pretty much all of them, their children do maths of some form up to the age of 18, and we're a bit of an outlier. So what we're doing is looking to raise the expectations and standards to make sure that our children can compete. And also give them skills for life as well with financial. Now, of course, we will work with the sector, and it is a, a, a longer-term strategy to make sure that we do have enough maths teachers. We do have a number of uh, strategies already in place, because it is always tough to uh, recruit maths teachers, but that's why we have introduced a bursary of up to £27,000 uh, for all maths teachers and also many science teachers. Mary McCarthy. Question three, Mr Speaker. With permission, Mr Speaker, I'll answer questions 3 and 10 together. All children, no matter their special educational need or disability, deserve the right support to be able to succeed. We will be publishing a full response to the SEND AP Green Paper in an improvement plan early this year, and we continue to work closely with children, families and education, health care and local government sectors on this very important issue.